morning my loves it is saturday morning it's a quarter to seven here in las vegas or on the west coast and i am headed to dollar general to do a five off of 25 deal um so i can show you guys a couple of five off of 25 scenarios maybe or maybe i'll just do one i'm not sure i'm surprised i'm even up you guys i did go out last night um it was a little rocky at first for the performance of silk but they actually performed extremely well so for you guys that are in california if you guys are going to be seeing them tonight because this video should be posted by then then hopefully you will enjoy because they really put on a really good performance um it was just the venue set up but anyway with that being said we are heading in to dollar general to do some five off of 25s this saturday july 8th so i will see you guys in a second So, as y'all can see behind me, again, I'm at Dollar General. They open in five minutes. I made it here pretty quick this morning. There was, like, really not a lot of traffic. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. This Lay's truck, like, Lay's must be really overstocked. There's cheap deals, like, at every store, grocery store, everywhere you go. And every time I come to Dollar General, the Lay's truck is here restocking. So, that's a good thing because they do have the... $1.95 for the Lay's chips and also the Fritos that are when you buy four they're $1.95 here I also saw a big old on the other side of the store um, stock truck that said Dollar General on the side like the big semi truck so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because stuff is saying in stock and it could be still on that truck or it could be still in the back but we're going to go in here um, as soon as they open and we're going to see what we can do. Saw the Frito Lay's got guy going here. So let's see if they doors are open so we can get started. Okay, guys. So we are in store. The first item that I am going to look for that says they have six in stock is actually out of stock and it's going to mess up um, both of the transactions that I have, but I already knew that that was a possibility. And that is going to be on the Swiffer starter kits. And this is actually a glitch deal. They are $5.50 and the $4 off one digital manufacturer coupon is coming off, making them just $1.50. These Swiffers would have made my transactions like six dollars and some change but anyhow moving on we're going to pick up two of the vibrant these are seven dollars four dollar off digital manufacturer coupon making those three dollars before any additional discounts apply okay so next i'm going to go ahead and pick up one of the airwick starter kits this one is the vanilla and pink papaya it actually smells super good this is 425 be careful when picking these up and pay attention because like this watermelon and berry is 625 and so is this brown sugar and vanilla and it is marked as 625 but some of the 425 ones are marked as 625 so make sure that you are scanning fresh linen is at 425 and then also the lavender and chamomile is marked at 425 and that is the correct price i'm going to go ahead and grab one of those But then as I'm moseying along, I'm going to go ahead and put that one back because there's an end cap down here with a few more cents. And they have this Hawaiian one here and it is marked at $4.25. So I'm going to grab that one instead. Also right around the corner is where I found the Febreze warmers and they are $3.50. So that was on an end cap as well. Always make sure you're checking everywhere in dollar general it's like a hunt you guys seriously 
So next y'all know I like to pick up medications and things from Dollar General. Just make sure you're checking the dates. I was looking at the Aleve PM, which is $5.50. And then I noticed here there was a POG tap for 10% off on the headache Aleve. And it was attaching to the coupon in the system and ringing up for $4.50. So I went ahead and grabbed that since I have to change my uh, deal around anyway. All of these pack tags are telling me that there's probably going to be an additional 50% off sale coming soon. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up this z -Quil Nighttime Sleep Aid from VIX. It's $4.35. And we have a $2 off coupon making that $2.35. I also was looking at the tablets here, the nighttime. They were attaching to the coupon. It says $4.35, but you always want to make sure that you are ringing up and scanning everything because once I scanned everything, it was coming up at $4.90. So... I'm going to grab another one of the headache the leaves and just kind of duplicate this transaction. But I'm going to put this one back because it's not ringing up correctly in every penny counts. <laughs> so we're going to put that one back and just go ahead and grab one more of the liquid. Now, the reason you guys see me splitting these up into transactions is because I have multiple accounts at Dollar General to utilize. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick food or snack scenario. I'm going to pick up three of these Captain Crunch at three for six dollars. We're going to grab four of the Prego uh, pasta sauces at buy one, get one free for three dollars. So grabbing four of those is six dollars. And then we're going to pick up two of the V8 Splash at two dollars each. So the V8 Splash and the Prego are on an instant savings of spend 10 and get two dollars off. So that is what. The deal is here. Then we're going to go ahead and pick up three of the Chips Ahoy at three for $8. And grab four of the either Frito-Lays or Lays chips at $1.95 each when you buy four for $7.80. So the total of everything that you're going to see in the cart is $31.80, which will qualify you for the instant savings and also for the five off of 25 once those come off, that would be $24.80, making that $1.55 per item, which I think is a pretty decent deal if you were going to do this deal. Now, for me, the instant savings was showing that it wasn't going to come off. Even if it didn't, it's still a good deal at $1.67 per item, so I probably should have just went ahead and did it. But we're going to go ahead and head to check out. But unfortunately, I am going to abort mission at checkout, you guys. So I rang up one of the transactions, and they are identical Something was completely off. The dollar and fifty cent coupon was not coming off for the Aleve, but that wasn't the biggest deal. It was still like five dollars over. I manually calculate these and I also put them into the app. So I just wasn't having it. Um, and so I went ahead and voided this transaction completely out. back home but I wanted to explain why I voided the transaction and abort mission and that is because something was not ringing up right um, no matter what the cashier say um, abort mission whenever you feel like it okay because she's like I don't understand why we can't re-ring it and blah 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 because it's my money and it's not yours um, one of my coupons was not coming off and that was the dollar and fifty for the Aleve um, but it was still way off and I scan all of the items into the app. The app is not always accurate. So I'm like something didn't ring up right or something didn't happen because I manually, um, and I guys saw my notebook in the cart probably, I manually add everything up as well as put it into the app and everything was matching. So the total of what I had for those items was $25.60. Including the five off of 25 would have been $16.80 in coupons, making that $8.80 for six items plus tax. So I didn't plan on spending more than like 20 or a little bit over 20 for everything that I had that you've seen in the cart. Um, and that's because I had to rework my deal. Um, but it was coming up like $5 more per transaction. So I'm like, I'm not going to do that. 
I'm gonna avoid the transaction. I put everything back. I never give any hassle. I'm like, it's okay, you know, it's it's perfectly fine, which it is. Um, but do I know what happened? I absolutely do not. Um, because I didn't have anything that had like any instant savings or anything like that in there. But y'all know I will abort mission fast and did. Um, so with that being said, I hope this video was still helpful to you or I hope that if you do try the deal that it actually works out for you because I don't know what happened and it should work out. Um, I should have just did the food deal with the snacks and stuff, but I didn't feel like going through it today. The instant savings didn't look like it was going to be coming off for the app, but that doesn't mean that when I got to the register that it would not have. I just didn't feel like gambling with it, even though if it didn't come off, it's still a good deal. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this video off, and I will see you guys and talk to you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.